People have been talking more about you since you got that bad attitude. You know, that you're too full of yourself and got here in the first place through nepotism. And people say that since you didn't travel the world paying your dues, you're not as well-rounded as they are. Although I think you could take on anyone, anywhere. Including anywhere in any arena.
wasting time on rivalries. I just got some intel. Management has just decided who's going to be Dewdrop's next challenger for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Is it... me? No, but it can be. Whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match will take on Dewdrop for the championship at WrestleMania. And if we do things right, you may not even have to wait until then. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind the specifics. Are you ready to get started? You'll need to qualify for the chamber match first. <laughs> Let's do it. There's no time like the present. Great. I'll talk to management and get you in a qualifying match. <sighs> Man, is it nice to not have to do that myself anymore. Perks of having a manager, dear. I suppose you've already heard this from your aunt, but I've got a qualifying match for you tonight. The winner will be added to the Elimination Chamber. I'm guessing you already know the stakes? Winner gets a match with Dewdrop for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? That's right. You'll be competing against Indy Hartwell. Great. Shouldn't be a problem for me to win. No one on the roster is on my level. Ah, there's that new attitude. Still, even though your aunt is managing your business now, don't be a stranger, okay? Hey, there's something I think you should do in your match tonight. Win? Naturally, but really make an example of Indy Hartwell. I wasn't planning on taking it easy on her. No, I know. But Indy's been having some minor backstage squabbles with Dewdrop lately. Nothing truly notable, but stir the pot between them, and I think you can use it to your benefit. You've got a whole plan put together, don't you? Of course I do. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Justine from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, <laughs> grace. Yeah! Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest, she still has a lot to prove. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Let's go. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better.
WWE's premier Antony's duo look to keep their momentum rolling against the always impressive Indy Hartwell in this huge Elimination Chamber qualifier match. It brings a tear to my eye to see how far our girls come since Survivor Series, Cole. What a blow up. Seems like Justine's knee still has a lot of growing up to do, if you ask me. Indy denies the attack. Snapmare takeover. Followed by... Is it fully locked in? Ah, uh, Sebastian locked in. Nowhere to go. No. Trying to reverse the pressure, and she does it. Wow, miraculous. Oh my God! What an elbow! All the way up. Still up. Squatting too. My gosh. Scouted there. Man, what a hit. Spin kick to the midsection. Oh, jeez. Falling hard to the outside. There's actually no regard for your opponent's safety when you toss them to the outside like that. Driven into the barricade. Face front of the barricade. Nicely done. Snap suplex. So quick. Salt to injury, and I love it. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Describe that victory. However, you want to describe it, it certainly worked. Come on, let's go. Your last match was a little extra. Listen, I meant what I said about fighting my battles. I can take care of myself. I know that. You're a strong, fierce woman and competitor who I greatly admire. So I definitely don't think you're so thirsty and insecure that you're creating all those Dewdrop fan accounts. And they said I'm doing that? Oh, that was the least of it. None of it seemed right, especially considering what's going on with Stephanie McMahon right now. What's going on with Stephanie? Wait, you don't know? I shouldn't have said anything. You've handled it well so far, so no reason for you to worry about it and be distracted. Tell me. Stephanie's been pretty vocal, at least around legends like my aunt. She thinks you're a terrible champion and is trying to do everything in her power to undermine you. She's even been asking management to put you in more difficult matches before your title defenses, so you're more likely to lose. I think that's why they're planning a handicap match for you next week. Why would they do that? I don't need to prove anything in the ring. I'm the SmackDown Women's Champion. I decide when and where I fight. It's all Stephanie. Although, I bet if I leverage my aunt's position as a WWE legend, I could get myself added to that match so it's not a handicap. 
I know it's unconventional, the two of us teaming up when I just qualified for Elimination Chamber, but I meant it when I said I admire you. It would be an honor for me to tag with you. That it would. Let's do it. Look who's here! The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Justine, Elle, and Dewdrop. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is gonna be good. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. Yeah, I'll tell you, a few women have the heart and determination of Aaliyah. And their opponents, first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalya in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. Man, look at Aaliyah. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Andy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up-and-coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Hey, Indy once held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. This may be the first time Dewdrop and her partner have teamed up. There's already chatter. They could be one of the most dominant duos in WWE. The legacy. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Finger full. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Into the corner. This can't be good. No smash. in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Right, cross body. A cross body from the middle rope. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. 
She's losing some steam now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Dewdrop has brought this match to her favor. Yeah, Dewdrop is really grinding the opposition down. Fell off with an elbow. Aaliyah able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. That's the trigger for her to battle her way back into this. She adjusts it and reverses it. Won't stay down. Oh, <clears throat> down. These string of attacks are keeping her off her game. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. She doesn't even get a count of one. She is still in this fight. There's a tag. one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. <sighs> that was a lot of fun. Stephanie was wrong about you. You're not a stumbling clown in the ring at all. What's her problem with me? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't go through with it. Go through with what? Me and my dumb mouth again. She really doesn't want you to be champion. In fact, she's coming to SmackDown next week to try to convince the rest of management to make the Elimination Chamber match for the championship itself. I guess she thinks someone can take the title off you sooner. She wouldn't 
Dear. I know, Stephanie's pretty strong-willed. But maybe next week is a good opportunity for you to talk to her about it. I'm sure it's all a misunderstanding. You're not really a fashion challenge loser who can't even speak English properly. If you state your case in a strong and convincing manner, maybe she'll back off. Oh, I'll state my case all right. Breaking news. I have just received word that visiting WWE Chairwoman Stephanie McMahon was the victim of a shocking attack at the hands of the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dewdrop. No motivation for this attack has been given, but WWE officials were able to restrain Dewdrop before Stephanie was seriously hurt. I'll update the WWE Universe with more news when I have it. Seems like everything is going according to plan. Nicely done. Stephanie met with me after the attack and she's pretty fired up. I think it's going to work. Perfect. <laughs>